remember those early months of 1985, January and February 1985, those cold winter months, late nights, watching this, watching the video to Phil, by Phil Collins and Philip Bailey, Easy Lover, Night Tracks on WTBS, played the hell out of that video. I remember, remember the, the part when they were flying over London in a helicopter, and that part of it was pretty cool. I want to play Philip Bailey's follow-up to that record. It was a lovely record, but it was not a hit. It was not a big hit at all. It did not make Top 40. One of the most exotic records I have ever heard. Every time I heard this record, it just threw me, propelled me right into a state of bliss. Philip Bailey, Walking on a Chinese Wallet, number 32, up from 34. Fantasy Playlist, April 28, 1985. Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind, and Fire. From the album of the same name, I believe, Walking on a Chinese Wall, produced by Phil Collins. He played drums on it. Gosh, Phil Collins was so hot. Had that album out, No Jacket Required. As a matter of fact, on my top 40 extras on my fantasy playlist, I don't know if you can see it, Susudio, Phil Collins, probably one of the best pop records ever. Phil Collins' Susudio, that would be big during the summer, of 1985. Walking on the Chinese Wall, he produced a record, as I've already mentioned. The song was written by Roxanne Seaman. It's S-E-E-M-A-N. Seaman or Seaman and Billy Hughes. They had a songwriting collaboration, but as far as I know, this was the biggest hit that they wrote together. They were influenced by the Orient. Billy Hughes spent some time in Japan, and Roxanne Seaman, she spent, some, she spent three weeks in China. She walked the Great Wall of China, along the Great Wall. Hence the line, the title of the song which she came up with, Walking on the Chinese Wall, and there was a lyric that went, Watching for the coins to fall. That was a reference. She was referencing the I Ching coins, which was from a book called I Ching, the Book of Changes. Hope I pronounced that word correctly, I Ching. <laughs> or at least I come, I'm coming close anyway. That's it. That's all I got to say about the record. Just one of the most loveliest records I've ever heard. Philip Bailey at number 32, Fancy Playlist, April 28, 1985.